I've always seen dev and networking as silos and we, we can't, we can't move our industry forward and get mm -hmm. it to where it needs to go. Like once cloud came along and it was like push button, everything, it kind of ruined it for the old school trad net op guys. Like that became an option. So like, all right, I guess, I guess we got to figure out automation because <laughs> somebody figured out how to make it consumable and easy. Mm -hmm. uh, right, right, William, I see you nodding your head. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember was, the first time I fought Terraform when it first came out. Like this cloud stuff is a fad. Nobody's going to put their self, their stuff in like another person's data center. Get out of here. This Terraform thing is like a hipster, you know, chai latte on the beach with sandals thing and on the phone, you know. But then I realized, you know, after using it and seeing it in action and doing things with it, I'm like, okay, I see why this tool was created and the problem it solves. I'm a long term fan now. I love it. So. Yeah, you got to get, you know, sometimes it takes a second to get in. You have to get in that turn and understand what's happening and, and wrap your head around it before you can fully embrace it. So be curious out there, folks. That's the thing. Be curious. Get out there and test things out. Everything's free trial or open source. There's so much stuff out there to just go out and free tier your time up with. So, yeah, be curious. And be willing to question your own biases and preconceived notions of, of reality. And I know that that sounds kind of like woo-woo and like way too psychological, but I, I resisted coding for probably decades because I had an experience when I was 19 that created neural pathways in my brain that said, I'm not smart enough to do this. Now I found a circuitous route back into tech through climbing ladders and getting shocked and you know, blah, blah, blah. And then CCNA and here we are. But